boy, here we go. I am back from my trip to small town Saskatchewan. And uh, I'm already feeling rusty. I had a good, you know, I had a good few episodes going there after, you know, the unfortunate one that will never, ever happen again. Uh, but now I'm back and ready for action. Uh, this mission is Operation Night Tower. It's part of uh, a chain to stop the signal jamming dark event. It's a difficult mission. Uh, resistance rumors, some intel, and the possible delay of the dark event signal jamming up for grabs. Uh, they have comms jamming. They have updated firewalls and stealth insertion. So timers are nice. Uh, if we can stay concealed a little bit and not get revealed by civilians, that would be sweet. Taking out Tyrant, Black Ghost, Words, The Cook, Ace, and Hexen. I noticed that I didn't equip the uh, Wildcat uh, cartridges, so um, they are on the shotgun here. Gain a 50% chance to deal an extra one damage on critical hits, so... I mean, I think that makes a lot of sense. Let's rock and roll. Shake off the, the rust. Now... I noticed something. I noticed something. I read I read the comments. I'm in there. I, I know what's going on. I'll tell you what that is after this. Uh, today's log, this is from uh, Float Flow, who writes for Marie Gentle Le Brun. This is an extract from these video casts that she does. Marcus Kincaid, also known as Tyrant, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, you know. The king of the old, old lizards that lived before humans. Kincaid is commander's favorite marksman. <laughs> he has, we believe, 100% landing shots, which is really impressive. Some even go as far to say that he has more than 100 and once... Oh, that has more than 100 and once shot two advent troopers at once. We don't have any footage of that, though. <laughs> and as a little insight into some behind-the-scenes role-playing shenanigans, uh, I did notice a post where... Uh, Tyrant, the one that she's talking about, is also kind of into Marie. Just a wee bit. Very weird. Very weird. Let's go. So yeah, I, in the comments I noticed that there was, uh, some people really don't like when that loot gets destroyed or, uh, not picked up. And, like, I totally get it. <laughs> Trust me, I die a little bit inside when I don't get it. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. I do. I die a little inside when I don't get it as well. Uh, I'll try my best, but I've, I've always prioritized. I've always prioritized the mission over the loot. Because the loot is... It's a trap, man. It's, it, they just want you to get to that loot so that you find the next pod and you... Yeah, it's, it's a bad scene, generally. All right. I do see a sectoid there. Uh, so that's... That's something. Uh, who else do we have here? Who's going to lead this squad? I mean, Hexen's got to be up there. I'm sending it in. Full send. Full send. Uh, Tyrant. Now, in a perfect world, I could put you up on high ground back here and just kind of forget about things. And I... I mean, I... I, I might be able to still provide a decent amount of covering fire from back here. It might be okay. I don't have a way to get up to... Well, I might actually. I might, but then the aliens could definitely hit. You know, it's a bit sketch that I can do this, but I'm going to I'm gonna send him up there. Uh, Black Ghost, That's let's move. Direct. The words, please, with that little cute hunting rifle. Uh, Mace, let's go this side. Um, excuse me. Whoa! Okay. A heavy, a normal trooper, and a neonate. Not too bad. We're still very early, so like, you know, in theory, we shouldn't have too many problems. Roger that. But anything can happen. Anything can happen. I'm gonna overwatch here, and these guys... Okay. Okay, that's fine. So we know where this batch is. We see this... Oh, whoa. Oh, we are gonna be throwing down... And it is going to be something. Got eyes on a hostile squad. At least, it's, at least it's not the Pathfinders. I still have a little PTSD from the Pathfinders, being honest. Uh, they're just their movement is just insane. It's insane. I'm gonna put him back here. Oh God, please don't backfire. Let's go brace. Um. How do we want to handle this? I think I need to pull words back just a tad. 
Confirmed. Just until we can see how these guys... Sorry, that was weird. My screen just like totally minimized. Uh, we're just going to move him back here so we can see uh, if this group comes in, I think. I feel like we can probably leave you here. Uh, we'll do one round of overwatching, then our sniper is ready, and then we can start throwing down. Yeah. A group of three and a group of two turned into a group of five. And if they would so just kindly stay right there, this would be phenomenal. Oh, are they doing it? No. Nope. Damn. Okay. This might be a reveal. This might be a reveal. It's a reveal. It's not a reveal. It's a reveal. It's a reveal. F. Okay, Hunter Rifle actually coming in hot there. Oh no. Oh my god. This is not the way I envisioned things happening. Guys, how about the one over here? Mm hmm Oh! The one shot. Okay. Uh, we are... Something bad's gonna happen from this Neonate over here for sure. What's he deciding to do? Full cover. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I'm totally fine with this. We have seven turns now. And we will be blasting. We'll be blasting. 73 is pretty good. Um, I think what I might as well do... Mind you, these guys with those windows, they, we could trigger here. We could trigger. Um... What are we going to do about this Overwatch, is the question. I think we just do a little a little combat protocol back there. I think is a way to handle that. We could obviously use the, um, the shotgun as well. But we also have some decent opportunities for kills with that. So... Let's just do a little safety combat protocol here. And then we could... Pick up that kill with Ghost, likely. Um, but we also have two shotguns, as I say. So this might trigger that group in the back. Oh, I think it did. Yeah, it did. Well, uh, well. Okay. I knew it was a possibility, and still went for it. And of course, we cannot get to that sectoid. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I think we pull words over here. We go for the flank on the heavy. That one point of armor does kind of suck. It does does kind of kind of isn't great. Um, we have plan. We can kill that viper for sure. I'm going to shuffle Ace into full cover back here. And then I'm thinking we take this on the two Vipers versus the Trooper. Or I open up here. Maybe I open up here against the Sectoid. We have more options to deal with that. Let's start with this. We need seven damage back there, and I can't get in there with, uh, with our, uh, Templar, unfortunately. We're just a little farther away. So how many actions do I got here? I got Hexen, I've got Tyrant, and I got Black Ghost. Okay. Hexen, I might run and gun into here. It's still easily flankable, but like... I think if we kill this heavy, then I'm I'm pretty happy. Let's see if we can pick this up. Still only 78 on this. Versus a 94. And it's a 73 here versus a 97. I gotta believe in a 78. I believe. I believe. 40% to crit is, 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 is pretty good. It's 
pretty good. Okay, words can come down here and maybe finish that, but I'm not I'm not totally convinced, honestly. But we gotta get into that full cover. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. This is a little bit more problematic than I would like it to be. Okay, so I think now we're gonna be we're gonna be tanking some shots here. Ace. Not loving the position, but it's not flankable. Well, I don't think he can see him from here, and I don't think he can get there. I would much rather take out this heavy than this guy. I'm just trying to prioritize, like, what's going to be the worst scenario here. These Vipers, I think, could reach us and bind as well. think they can. See, I'm thinking if I hit here and then I can run back inside, that would be fine. We also start to build up some focus there. And then what I do is I take likely likely this Viper out. I think we take this Viper. We could go for the Trooper, but I, th I think the Vipers are, are like technically on paper more dangerous. See you later. She got promoted. That's nice. Uh, please, please don't die now. Uh, let's tuck in here. Civilians, get out of my box. Yeah, I think we try for this Viper. Uh, they don't have any weird lightning reflexes or anything, right? No. So if I really wanted to solidify this, 83 is still really nice. Don't get me wrong. But I think we go just to lead the target here. Because he's definitely going to move. Eee. Okay, only 24, that full cover. Thank you. What's the sectoid planning on doing here? Yeah, that's probably the safe call. Thought maybe a, a mind control opportunity, but we can clean that up with Ghost. The, dead. the aliens have found a way to mind control them now. Beautiful. And the, oh, and the six, which kind of makes me feel like, oh, we could have shot at the other one and got that, but can't think like that. Oh, he's in. Oh, the entrenched. Oh, are you? We're not done here. Oh, great. We're not done here. Okay, so what happened there? So you... Because this guy's only dealing two, Entrenched literally made him do no damage. And he, But he did hit him through full cover. How nasty. Okay. Well, um, we're not out of the woods at all. Actually. at all. Um, I think we have to take... So we have to take this kill, for sure. I just hope I have room to get back in. But this is... This is the definite thing that we have to go for first. I love how that sectoid looks, too. That's really cool. I still have to get to my network here, by the way, as well. So we need to clean this up ASAP. How come I, uh... Oh, this is weird. This is weird. Uh, you know, I might be able to get them in if I move, uh, Hexen. Do I go down... Do I go here for the flank on the officer? I kind of think I do. I got an 89 on that bio trooper. 69 on that Viper. Um, I might freeze a Bio Trooper. 
They got, yeah, that gas grenade. I should really watch for something like that. It's only one freeze, though. I could maybe do, like, a blinding protocol. Preferably down there. I think we just move into full. Let me see what my arm is like. It's not... Not the greatest. <laughs> not the greatest. Really wish I had that running gun right about now. I just don't know if I feel like putting him in this position. Mind you, it would only be an officer that shoots at him. So even if he does shoot, I, I mean, he could, I guess he could probably crit that, but... Empower. Words. What am I going to do with you? That's another question. Kind of, kind of the same argument, but definitely, definitely has uh, less health to spare. We need seven damage, and I got the hunter rifle. So I could come out and toss a grenade. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Oh, I guess that'll be okay. 72 is pretty nice. Didn't get the crits. But I only need three. Come on, baby. What did you Blast him so hard his gun didn't know what to do. But now, we still have a bunch of action. <laughs> we still have a bunch of action. I gotta clear something here. I gotta clear something. And I think it's gotta be this. I'm worried this guy's gonna come around and, and flank us up top here, but I don't know if he's gonna have the vision. Doesn't miss. Just is like it. He's uh he's on a whole other level. I don't I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this. This type of performance only makes me think of one very legendary sniper. Unreal. Okay, Cook. Um, can you freeze that Viper or that Trooper? No, that sucks big time. Um, so I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna put Black Ghost over here as a threat. In full cover. Um, Cook, I might move up here. I don't think they're gonna come back here for the flank. I don't think he's gonna come in to shoot Tyrant. Uh, this just puts a little bit of extra distance between us and that trooper, I think. And... Yeah, this is like my my best option. I don't know if this will stop him from being able to use his uh, his thing. This will impact his mobility. So actually, in a way, yes. Let's blinding protocol there. And then I do have seven health. So if I could freeze this guy. That would be nice. Am I even... I'm pretty close. I think I could do it from here in half cover. Not a, problem. a lot would have to go wrong for the cook to go down here. Throwing grenade. Famous last words, of course. Okay. Yeah, that was the risk that we knew we would take, which worked out. Casual little reload there. No problem. No problem. Uh, should I empower? I think so. Does that impact our rend at all, actually? I don't think it does. Impacts our volt. Bypass shields and armor. Increases attack damage against all targets. Um, brand, obviously. I don't think we need to even do it, though. This is only four to five. Gee. Okay, are we sure this doesn't... 
add anything. Empowering will cause the target to take one additional damage in all incoming attacks. So I'd have to... I don't see... I, I don't think I can do all of that. I can't brand him at the same time. Let's see what I got from Marcus's angle here. I do have an 83 back there. But I do have it. And I could go in for the kill too, but... I think I could bring you over here to guarantee something. And then we've got the trooper. Yeah. Okay, so Marcus, let's start with you. Again, we could probably leave target here, but... Let's see if we can get the full kill. Oh my god. Why do I even ask? You want some more? I, don't, I don't even know. I'm fine with this Overwatch, I think, being a thing. Or, hold on. Hold on. Okay, so this is a little tricky. I do, it looks like it's going to trigger, but... You know, in my eyes, we're kind of... We're kind of skirting the corner here. We'll see, but... Yeah, okay. I didn't think it was going to do it, but... We just need this to break the Overwatch. Not that it's even a huge issue. Yeah, just a little... Just a little buzz cut. Just a little bit off the top. We're gonna get that loot over there. And then Mace. I don't have a good flank, really. And since we're shooting into full cover anyway, sure I might as well set you here. Oh, I kind of blew that. But we can fix this problem. Seems doable. We can fix this. We can kill this guy right now. If the grenade itself doesn't do it, the shotgun blast will. Yep. Nice. Good teamwork. By the numbers. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Very, very, very good teamwork, guys. Good to go. That was just a lot of enemies. Thankfully, we're still pretty early. The the Positive type of enemies we're running into are not. Secured capable of just utter destruction yet unless they're of course you know nine pathfinders but yeah where's my uh yeah ace where's ace double time let's get reloads in reload it's here time. we're green to go reload reload Oh, one thing I, I've been meaning to ask is um, for some usage scenarios on when I can use, like, this defensive mine. I feel like I never use it. It's, it's like, right there all the time. A great option for something, I'm sure. I just don't know... I just don't know, like what I should be looking for there, you know? Accessing system. What's the scenario where that's advantageous? I'm thinking like, okay, we got vipers that run at us, like melee units, right? You put that in front of you, like, I get that. I just don't know if there's something else. Okay, I mean, this is super, super low. Oh, actually, what am I doing? I really should always just wait for that, for that next turn and do the, uh, do the fail safe, right? Let's just end the turn, I think. Positive confirmation. Area secured. 66 and 12. Okay. Well, we still go for the first option. Come on, baby. Oh! That is really good because I'm pretty sure we're researching those alloys. I'm pretty sure that's what we're on. Okay, not a bad one to come back to. Not a bad one to come back to at all. 
Uh, nope. Mission debriefing, please. <laughs> Unsurprising. 18 damage on Tyrant. Most high heavy hit a kill stealer. Black Ghost getting in there. That was super good as well. 16 damage. The words nailed some very important shots against that, um, that officer. That was crucial. Uh, Cook, not bad. Blowing things up. Always fun. Ace, uh, you did the hacking and you threw that grenade, which was good. And then, uh, Hexen also in there, just tossing bows. That was great. That was great. I'm very happy. Now we'll go back to our base and get organized. Prosperity will not be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents. Oh, and guys, we got some loot. Some loot dropped and I picked it up. I know it made some of you very happy. Benny B D B Chi. What was our successful shots there? Can you just move the fedora back a sec? Thank you. 75, yeah. We only took, like, pretty good percentage shots, but... If anyone was gonna miss, it would have been the words. We really put a hurt on the aliens this time. Couple of nice promotions here. Alright. So, as our tech specialist, um, the battle scanner might not be bad. Low profile is very hard to argue with. The regenerating armor seems great. I think for my play, I'm going to go low profile. We do have a lot of XCOM AP. Like, we can do some upgrades when we get action or when we get access, but... Now, the question is, do I go back into this parry? Here's a whole new branch of trees, so... Soulbind. Rend attacks that damage but do not kill a living target still give a 50% chance to transfer energy to the Templar. Rend attacks that do kill a living target can regenerate. 1 HP. How much? What's the percentage chance there? HP cannot be regenerated and energy cannot be harvested through Soulbind from mechanical enemies or zombies. Totally fair. Can generate. I, I don't know if this is guaranteed, but that's really good. Consecrated Blades. The Templar pours energy into their side blades, scaling up their rend damage based on current energy levels. Gain 50% chance to deal plus one damage on all side blade attacks for each and or for each unit of energy stored but the maximum amount of energy the templar can harness at any one time is reduced by one whoa so this is really about keeping those points up and not spending it on some of this other stuff castigate offensive abilities cast with energy will also apply stat penalties to the targets Will and Psy offense stats will be reduced by 30%, and the target's chance to hit or crit will be reduced by 10%. Stat penalty from Castigate will persist on targets so long as the Templar remains alive. Stat penalty from Castigate cannot be stacked. Okay. So in addition to, like, vaulting or branding... I, I don't know if Brandon counts as an offensive weapon. They also would have their will and size stats reduced. And the target's chance to hit or crit will be reduced by 10. Yeah, I don't know. And then, of course, we have lightning hands here. Plus one damage, 10 aim on the attacks with your sidearm. It's actually, like, pretty good. She already has exceptional aim. I think I gotta go Soulbind. It's more chances to get energy. There's that small chance that you're going to regenerate HP, I guess. I don't know if it's a small chance, but there's a chance. This seems cool too, but I don't like that we're reducing the maximum amount that we can carry yet. Um, so I think I'm going to choose Soulbind for this. Okay. And Hexen. Prep for entry. After activating this ability, the next grenade thrown or launched this turn will not cost an action, but throw range is reduced by 50%. So this is good if you're, like, stacking outside of a door. Zone of control. All enemies within the assault infantry CQB dominance radius suffer penalties to aim and mobility. Minus 10 aim and minus 3 mobility. In addition to this stuff, where uh, defense, crit hit chance, crit hit defense is all impacted as well. And honed edge. 
15% chance to hit, 15% chance to crit. I think for now I'm going to take this, because sword attacks I just don't trust. You know? I think that's the way to go. Lightweight frame, extra mobility, definitely will take advantage of that. A glorious battle. So we still have another chain, or another part of this chain, and the last time we tried to counter a dark event, the chain uh, busted. Because so, we got destroyed. Uh, alien alloy integration now in seven days. Um, resistance comms the 16, alien machinery here. Yep, cool. Now, I think what we were planning on doing... Still have a supply drop, yeah. Faint signal. Okay, facility lead. That's a must. That is a must grab. Uh, how long is that there for? 12 days. Okay, wait. Uh, I'm concerned about it expiring. But I think the plan was to get to the black market and then make contact here, right? I think that was the plan. Avenger plotting new course. Now my crew is at 26 on 30. I have to be mindful of that. If that goes over, it could be quite bad. Okay. Let's, uh, don't fly anywhere else right now. Pierce is back. I feel like if I don't go for this immediately, I'm going to regret it. Avenger so I'm going to prioritize that. With the, with the changes to the uh, facilities, yeah, I don't want to take any chances. Stop. Stop. New assault mission. Okay. Uh, is this part of the chain? Assault, wait, assault. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, lightning strike. So we're getting extra three mobility here for the first three turns of battle while the squad remains concealed. Enemy tech defense is increased. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We're in 100 territory. Uh, didn't show up last time, so definitely could show now. 11 are ready. I mean, I, I think it's... I think it's doable. Hopefully. I think it's doable. Difficult mission. Now, a lot of these guys are available, but their will is obviously uh, not up to snuff because they were just out on missions. So let's see what we can do with some other groups here. Liberty, Treason, uh, Hunter Pierce can come out, Squatty. Maybe I bring uh, Ray here, our other marksman. No, we have three marksmen. Who's our third? Tyrant. Oh, yeah, variable on the covert action. That's right. So we got two squaddies in. Corporal Sergeant. Let's go medkit here. Uh, we're going to get the frost bomb. Switch over some of the weapons. Uh, what are we trying to do? Sabotage a transmitter? These ones we need to shoot, I believe. Our Templar could go... I suppose... Um, God, there's just so many squaddies. I got, they gotta get action. I just don't know if I, get, if I take too many if I'm putting myself in a bad spot, you know? I could bring a sapper for grenades. It's always good. But if that Chosen does show up, I think I'd like to have her there. So at least we can have that extra damage. And she's kind of a kill securer as well. Let's unequip the barracks. Now, uh, on this sniper, we're going to put... Hey, wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. We gave him the tracer rounds on the, uh, on the other sniper. Did we not have an attachment for him as well? Didn't he have like the free reloads? Pretty, yeah, it's right here. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so that's what we gotta that's what we gotta do is check into the weapons. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't uh I think maybe that's these. Yeah, remove primary uh weapon upgrades. Much better. 
So do these guys have anything sitting in here? No. So that's all fine and dandy. Um, free reload here. We got the wildcat things here. Now, somebody could benefit from extra mobility, I suppose. And the medic actually makes a lot of sense in that regard. Because you need to get over there and uh, get some healing done, possibly. I'm just trying to decide now, do we want to go with that same thing that we've been doing? We have a couple of assault rifles, the scatter gun here. We've got, oh, I don't want you here actually. Sorry, Marcus. See ya. We're gonna bring uh, 65. Oh, and in the comments, people pointed out the 65 because he's just so average, right? His bio is all about being super average. That's the starting aim for rookies, like a uh, vanilla starting aim, so. Yeah, nice. I didn't catch up. I didn't catch on to that. So good job. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay. I think we take the frost bomb here. I don't know who's carrying my flashbang, but it's it's somewhere. It's somewhere. Oh, maybe is it possible that? Uh, it may have been on our skirmisher that got toasted. That's possible. Uh, let's go traditional sword, because I like the way it looks. Let's go old world assault here. Actually, let's do the scatter gun. These are just really nice for that one damage. That one, that kind of basic stock implant, super nice. All right, I think this is pretty good. I'm happy with this. We have two sappers. Um, you have much more health. Much more health. So I'm actually going to switch this and put the frost bomb on you. Because if I need to make a really forward moving move to get a frost bomb, I feel better if somebody has eight health and if they have five. Um, everyone's running the exact same amount. Everyone's got the same mobility. Pretty good. I think... This is the way that we're going to do it, I guess. I'm wondering if I should go hunter rifle here. The only reason I think maybe we take a hunter's rifle is because we can uh, mark with Giroux and we can mark with the hollow targeter and your aim is not that great. So if we are marking, we can also pierce armor. I, I think that'll work. All right. So Operation Night Wagon coming up. Uh, Trees and Libby, Hunter 65, Short Fuse and Black Ghost. Wish me luck, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support. And uh, I will try to get all the loot. Wish me luck. Bye now.